This learning is Le'ili Nishmas Broya Bas Hananya, Masech Shvius Parakhes Mishnates. Ursha Sochay Bishemin Shal Shvius. If a person rubbed oil of Shvius into leather, so we have a Machlekes over here. And Rabbi Leazar Emer Yidalik. Rabbi Leazar says, besides from what we learned in the previous Mishnah, that the person has to take the value of the oil and buy with it food and treat it with the Kedusha of Shvius. In addition, a person has to burn the piece of leather because they misused the oil of Shvius. And the Chachamim say, It's enough that the person just takes the value of the oil and buys with it food and treats it with the Kedusha of Shvius. The Mishnah continues, They said in front of Rabbi Akiva, who was the Talmud, the student of Rabbi Eliezer, that Eimer Hoya Rabbi Eliezer, the Rabbi Eliezer used to say, that if a person rubbed oil of Shvius into leather, you dalik, you have to burn it. So Amr Lehem, Rabbi Akiva said to them, Be quiet, don't say this. Because this is not the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer. That's just what Rabbi Eliezer was saying in the name of a different Tana. And regarding what Rabbi Eliezer himself holds, so Rabbi Kiva said, I'm not going to tell you what Rabbi Eliezer himself says about this. And the reason is because Rabbi Eliezer was very lenient in this case, and he said that it's actually mutter, it's permitted for a person to rub oil of shvius into leather, for example, if it's a shoe, because in such a case, the person's body is going to benefit from the oil that's in the shoe, and therefore, just like a person can rub oil of shvius on their body, they could also rub it into leather shoes or other leather garments.